your understanding about people there are certain things you need to know about people for you to live effectively if you do not know this you will fail bitterly in life ready number one is what i call the fundamental principles of human relation the fundamental principle of human relation as far as dealing with people we're on another subject now understanding about people we've looked at understanding about life your understanding about people is an ideology that needs to change for you to live effectively write this down i'll keep drumming it to your head till you get it the highest psychological need this is what i call the fundamental principle of human relations the highest psychological need of man is the need to feel loved the need to feel valued and the need to feel important any man christian muslim atheist buddhist the follower of baha'i confucius whatever all the religions in the world every man today living on the surface of the earth has an inner craving the greatest psychological craving of any man is the need to be loved the need to be valued and the need to feel important the moment you live your life violating this law you are going to go through a lot of struggles with people are we together now um, let me use Amaka come let me use you anybody come These are two people. Where are you from? Anambra State. Anambra. Where are you from? Delta State. Delta. This is Anambra. This is Delta. I need somebody from the north. North? Be sure you are from the north. Don't just stand up and... Okay, yeah, Sam, you can come. Watch this. You can, you can stay here. These people have diverse cultures. Diverse ways of living. But can I tell you the truth? embedded in every one of them from delta from anambra from kaduna state embedded in every one of them they crave for it they will fight for it is the ultimate determinant of their attachment to people the need to feel loved the need to feel valued everybody wants to feel loved that sense of love that sense of value you know what it means to be valued i've told us but write it again to be valued means to be given an impression that you are not easily replaceable that's what it means to be valued by the time you live your life and you master degrading people and trivializing their worth you become an enemy to effective living so if i live my life watch this if every time i meet amaka all i keep doing to her is to make her feel she's of no worth are you getting the point now i keep making her feel bad i keep making her feel you are nobody you are non entity let me tell you something she will hate me she will fight me she will resent me every time i am coming towards her i become a reflection of pain are you getting me every time people are celebrating her and she sees joshua selman coming she will hate it she will leave that environment are you getting the point now because my presence is always derogatory to her person if i meet this guy right now and i look i say i'm richer than you you are nothing I push him away and make him look like you have to earn certain things to belong to my class and I push him away I devalue him are we together I make him not feel important the danger of that is that I will never be able to be friends with him some of you can never have friends and by extension husbands and wives because your attitude violates the fundamental principle of relationships your presence always makes people feel they are nothing there's something about your ideology that mocks you trivialize the efforts of people 
there are ladies like that every time you see another lady you cannot see what is nice there is a beautiful flower your eyes cannot see it this is a lady that is beautiful you can't see it you just look and say kai is this shirt iron or not why must your life tilt towards devaluing people that sense of cynicism is destroying your potential for effective living you must train yourself to always make people feel love when i come to sam and i say sam i love you you are a great person i need you to survive i won't harm you with words from my mouth i love you i need you to and when sam is trying to say ah no i'm not qualified to be to your class i say sam if there is nothing that is common to all of us we were all made from dust there is a common ground and i love you you don't need to do anything to end my love i appreciate you i know you are growing and i make sam feel important when he sings i say sam there is an anointing on you i know i'm anointed but i cannot but acknowledge the grace upon you do you think sam will want to be around me because anytime he's around me that sense of value is on there are many of you brothers you have destroyed the lives of sisters because every time you see them you are, your your mouth is like a razor blade you tear people down kai this girl true true let's tell the truth she's not fine kai you may be laughing as if you you are fine see it there are brothers like that and some are, are, are audacious this is a lady who is trying to gather herself what like a broken plate her emotional her em, the emotional self worth of her of her person is fragile she's gone through a family that did not believe in her now she came to koinonia or to any um congregation of god's people and she's hoping she will find a place where she can heal and be strong and one arrogant carnal brother now comes to smash that thing on the ground and says i'm telling you to your face you are anointed oh i won't deny that one but find it now you have you have no. thank you if that is part of your life you are not living effectively because the reason why somebody is dying is because you are alive and god is watching god is watching you cannot come and destroy god's precious creation are you getting what i'm saying now yeah never make people feel bad when you are there no you live effectively when you understand this component of people sisters may god give you a husband who thinks like this somebody who you come back home and he can appreciate you when you cook he doesn't look and say why is there four meat i thought you used to put five say no i thank god i just came back from somewhere and my husband's wife beat him i thank god for a woman like you never giving me headache and she's saying i'm sorry i shouted at you that day say no we are humans not that you're a bad man you say yes you shouted no if you understand people let me tell you you will become a people magnet it will be like charm you become desirable by even your enemies because you have sustained the component that attracts people the, the excellency of your ideology is such that everyone wants to be like you why is everybody running away from you it may be because there is something about your life are we together now you think they are running away because you are poor not necessarily trust me not necessarily there is something about your life that violates their sense of self-worth i need you to serve i won't harm you with words from my mouth i love you i need you to survive very important bless you bless you you greet people when you come you greet people they don't just come and say apostle how are you say hey, i'm fine courtesy are we together the highest psychological need of man is the need to feel loved the need to feel valued the need to feel important the second thing you need to know about people to live effectively ready 
you must be aware of the inconsistencies and the ever-changing nature of man oh i teach you wisdom tonight be aware of the inconsistencies and the ever-changing nature of man expect people to change expect people to change whether for the good or for the worst if you do not factor this you will die of hypertension as you live in your life <laughs> hmm. expect people to change factor this as you deal with people how many people come back with shock i used to know this lady when she was nothing very humble very loving now because she bought bmw x series now she's arrogant expect people to change incorporate it so that you are never shocked there are few things about people that surprise me because i factor it there are people who used to greet me years ago they will see me and greet me but now i see them and you see there's this unconscious i'm also a man of god now and i just see them as i expected it carry your wahala there's one song owner of evil load carry your load now i don't mean that for you but i mean come on i reject any load that god didn't give me carry your wahala your mindset and your village whatever go with it i don't want trouble our not understanding that change is something to be expected even in people is what surprises us so as at the time you ask the lady out she was a charming sleeping beauty lovely lady she would greet you it was because she was not exposed now some exposure has come and one day she challenges you and you say me when did you change if you don't factor it you will die like mere men how how many times do we expect people to remain the way we've always known them let me tell you if you want to live effectively incorporate this people are inconsistent they are ever changing somebody will say i love you today tomorrow he will say crucify him let it not shock you factor it and you will be free so that if your best friend today turns and stabs you at the back i i i, I some some years ago i managed one issue one guy liked one lady one good christian lady and there was one middleman who was trying to process the whole relationship and in the process of trying to uh, do the procession i don't know how the team worked and the guy started you know was possessing his canine for himself and so on and so forth and he found out that they were spending time together and the returns that would have come from the whole i mean the guy was not nothing was happening and at a point he just said look this lady says she doesn't like you long and short i've just been afraid of telling you but now see it as hot as it is and then a few weeks they were all going out and then of course you can imagine how that relationship too will end praise the lord but the idea is that when was the last time some of you listen as you are sitting down right here you are bitter and you are depressed because people changed your father changed when his salary came when his arrears of 10 years came no more prayers remember when people used to come and pray they forced you to wake up in the night and do night vigil you killed everything flying around your house till that money came when it arrived your father became himself he apologized to the family if i've offended anybody if that's what is stopping the money i apologize and you were convinced my goodness daddy has changed all of a sudden the money came and you found out there is no change that has happened listen learn this about people and you will win the inconsistencies and the ever-changing nature man the only thing that god guaranteed about man is that he will change people change when they are under pressure that's why let me tell you something i say this thing especially because we are predominantly young people when you see somebody that thing you call love at first sight be careful because if you say you love me have you seen me when i'm angry have you seen me when i'm hungry do you know whether it's not do you know whether i'm dirty when you say you love me means you love everything about me oh i love you i love you calm down my mother is a witch i love you i love you like that calm down our our refusal to understand people listen 
I'm giving you wisdom that will guarantee your reigning. You will live effectively. Know that people change. Are you getting what I'm saying now? How many pastors expect their subordinates not to change? And they say, I know you. You are like a son to me. You came into this church as an armed robber. See what God used my anointing to do in your life. And you are the very person who wants to divide my church into half. <laughs> people must change. For the good or for the worst. I have factored this in my life. Let me tell you. There is almost nothing anybody around me does that surprises me. I may just be alarmed. What kills people, what causes high blood pressure is the shock. The shock. I didn't expect this person to change. Come on. <laughs> I give you a key that will make you live effectively. Are you learning this? When you expect people to change and you factor it, you are never surprised. That means when you are designing your life, you design it incorporating the fact that people can change. That way, you will never trust any human being above God, no matter what they tell you. I will fall inside the well for you. I will, a train will kill me for you. You are talking nonsense. Let an arm robber knock the door. You will see the ever-changing nature and the inconsistencies of people. There are pastors that before they got money, they were preaching certain messages. Is that true? When money came, business class, first class, five-star hotel. Ah! They said, so life can be lived at a higher level. And that thing altered their messages. And the members say, Kai, I'm disappointed. Don't be disappointed. People change. Walk out with this today. And you can shake hands with your best friend who stabbed you at the back. And say, I know I offended you and you laughed. He said, I've learned to factor in the ever-changing nature. So when a guy walks to you, somebody who says, if I don't marry you, just come and carry my dead body. And two weeks later, he says, I'm not doing again. You will start asking him, what happened? What is on your head? People change. So you factor it in your heart. Listen, this is the antidote to consistent disappointment. I will give you a job. What level are you now? 400 level. I promise you, I'm now the DG of this and that. And then you come after that time and say, even your father have not given him a job. Talk more of it. Walk out of this office. And you say, ah, ah. All the while, when they are prophesying in miracle service, you never drop prayer requests of job. Because to you, you think it's a done deal. That man promised me. And we are saying, don't put your strength in man. You are not hearing. Until he sends you away, you will rush with the prayer request. And come and drop it. Oh God, a job. Listen, I will never trust man above God. Never. I don't care what my father, your father may let you down. Your mother, your best friend. What's the other part? But Jesus. That's right. Your boss. Your lecturer, may let you down. your project, for oh, Jesus, Jesus. your certificate, may let you down. your husband, may let you down. Nigeria, 